Chapter One, The Dream of English. Once upon a time in a small village, there lived a young boy named Ali. Ali was 10 years old and loved reading books. He often read stories in his own language, but he dreamt of reading books in English one day. Ali had heard that there were many wonderful stories written in English and he wanted to understand them. One evening, Ali sat with his grandfather by the fireplace. The fire crackled and Ali looked up at his grandfather, who was very wise. Grandfather, Ali said, I want to learn to speak English fluently. How can I do it? His grandfather smiled warmly. Ali, learning a new language is like planting a tree. It takes time and care, but if you are patient and work hard, you will see it grow. Let me tell you a story about how you can learn to speak English fluently. Ali's eyes lit up with excitement as his grandfather began his story. Chapter Two, Meeting Sam. Imagine you have a friend named Sam, his grandfather said. Sam speaks English very well. Every day you meet Sam and have a little conversation. At first, you start with simple sentences like, Hello, how are you? And what is your name? Sam answers you and teaches you new words and sentences. This is called practicing with a partner. Allie imagined meeting Sam every day. He thought it would be fun to have someone to talk to in English. He could practice speaking and learn new words. Ali decided he would pretend Sam was with him and talk to him every day. His grandfather continued, Practicing with a partner helps you become comfortable speaking English. The more you practice, the better you will get. Remember, it's okay to make mistakes. That's how you learn. Ali felt more confident. He knew that talking with Sam, even if Sam was imaginary, would help him a lot. Chapter Three, The Magic of Listening. Next, his grandfather said, you need to listen to English as much as you can. Think about the stories you love. Find them in English. You can listen to them on your way to school while you are doing chores or before you go to sleep. This way, your ears get used to the sound of English. This is called listening practice. Allie loved listening to stories. He thought about all the times he could listen to English stories. In the morning, he could listen while he brushed his teeth. In the afternoon, he could listen while he played. And at night, he could listen before he fell asleep. His grandfather explained, Listening helps you understand how words are pronounced and how sentences are formed. You will start to understand more and more as you listen every day. Allie was excited. He asked his grandfather to help him find some English stories. Together, they found simple English stories that Ali could listen to. Ali promised himself he would listen to them every day. Chapter Four, The Power of Reading. Then, said his grandfather, you must try to read in English every day. Start with simple books. Look at the pictures and read the words. If you don't understand a word, don't worry. Just try to understand the story. This will help you learn new words and how they are used. This is called reading practice. Allie remembered the picture books in his village library. He decided he would borrow some and read a little every day. His grandfather took him to the library the next day. They found many simple English books with colorful pictures. Allie was excited to start reading them. His grandfather said, Reading helps you see how words are written and how sentences are put together. 
It will also help you learn new words. The more you read, the more you will understand. Allie took a book home and began to read. At first, it was a little difficult, but he remembered his grandfather's advice. He focused on understanding the story and didn't worry too much about the words he didn't know. Slowly, he started to understand more and more. Chapter 5 Writing Your Thoughts Also, his grandfather continued, write a little in English every day. It could be about anything. What you did today, what you ate, or even a story you make up. This will help you practice forming sentences and using the words you have learned. This is called writing practice. Allie thought this sounded fun. He loved to write stories about his adventures with his friends. He decided to keep a journal where he would write a few sentences in English every day. His grandfather gave him a notebook and a pen. Allie felt very grown up and important with his new journal. His grandfather explained, Writing helps you practice using new words and forming sentences. It also helps you remember what you have learned. The more you write, the better you will get. Ali started writing in his journal every evening. He wrote about his day, his friends, and even his dreams. At first, he made many mistakes, but he didn't mind. He knew that with practice, he would get better. Chapter 6. The Importance of Confidence Lastly, his grandfather said, don't be afraid of making mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes when they are learning something new. The important thing is to keep trying. Speak as much as you can, even if you think it's not perfect. Over time, you will get better. This is called being confident. Ali felt inspired. He knew it would take time, but he was determined to follow his grandfather's advice. He promised himself that he would practice speaking, listening, reading, and writing in English every day. He decided to speak in English whenever he could, even if he made mistakes. His grandfather smiled and said, Ali, you have a brave heart. If you keep practicing and believe in yourself, you will speak English fluently one day. Chapter 7 the journey begins. The next day, Ali started his journey to learn English. He met with his imaginary friend Sam and practiced speaking. He borrowed simple books from the library and read them every evening. He listened to English stories and songs, and he wrote in his journal daily. At first, it was difficult. Ali made many mistakes but he remembered his grandfather's words and kept going. With each passing day, he felt a little more confident and fluent. He enjoyed his practice sessions with Sam, and he loved listening to the stories and songs. Reading became easier, and writing in his journal was fun. Ali's friends noticed his improvement. They saw that he was speaking more English and understanding more words. They asked him how he learned so quickly. Ali shared his grandfather's advice with them. Together, they practiced speaking, listening, reading, and writing in English. They even made a game out of it, helping each other learn new words and sentences. Chapter 8 Seeing Progress Months passed, and soon, Ali noticed a big change. He could understand more when people spoke English. He could read books more easily and even write longer sentences in his journal. His friends noticed his improvement too. They asked him how he learned so quickly. Ali shared his grandfather's advice with them. Together, they practiced speaking, listening, reading, and writing in English. They even made a game out of it helping each other learn new words and sentences. 
One day, Ali's teacher asked him to read a story in English to the class. Ali was nervous, but he remembered his grandfather's words. He took a deep breath and read the story. His classmates listened carefully, and when he finished, they clapped. Ali felt proud and happy. He had done it. Chapter 9, Achieving the Dream In the end, Ali not only learned to speak English fluently, but also helped his friends learn too. He was proud and happy, knowing that with patience and practice, he could achieve his dreams. His village was filled with children who spoke English confidently, thanks to Ali and his grandfather's wisdom. Ali's story became an inspiration for many children in his village. They learned that with the right steps and a lot of practice, anyone could learn to speak English fluently. Ali continued to practice and improve, always remembering his grandfather's advice and he never forgot to help others on their journey to learning English, just as he had been helped. Chapter 10, Ali's First English Book. Ali's excitement grew as he became more fluent in English. One day, while visiting the village library, he found a book that caught his eye. The book was titled The Adventures of Tom Sawyer by Mark Twain. Ali had heard about this famous book and wanted to read it in English. The librarian noticed Ali's interest and smiled. Would you like to borrow this book, Ali? She asked. Ali nodded eagerly. Yes, please. I want to read it in English. The librarian handed him the book and said, Take your time. It might be challenging at first, but remember to enjoy the story. If you need help, I'm always here. Ali thanked her and took the book home. That evening, he sat by the fireplace with his grandfather and began to read. At first, the language was difficult, but Ali took it slowly, using a dictionary to look up unfamiliar words. His grandfather helped him with the tough parts, and together, they enjoyed the story. As days turned into weeks, Ali found himself getting absorbed in the adventures of Tom Sawyer. He was thrilled to understand more of the story each day. The challenge of reading a real English book boosted his confidence even further. Chapter 11 The English Club Inspired by his progress, Ali decided to start an English club at his school. He talked to his teacher, who thought it was a wonderful idea. The English club would meet twice a week after school to practice speaking, reading, and writing in English. Ali invited his friends to join the club. They were excited to learn together. During the club meetings, they played games in English, read stories aloud, and practiced speaking with each other. They also shared the new words they learned and wrote short stories in English. Ali's teacher noticed the students' enthusiasm and dedication. She often joined their meetings to help them and teach new lessons. The English club became a popular activity at the school, and more students wanted to join. Ali felt proud to see everyone learning and improving their English skills together. Chapter 12, The Trip to the City One day, Ali's school organized a trip to the city. The students were excited because they would get to visit a big bookstore that had many English books. Ali was especially thrilled because he wanted to find more books to read. When they arrived in the city, Ali was amazed by the tall buildings and busy streets. The bookstore was enormous, with shelves filled with books of all kinds. Ali and his friends spent hours exploring the sections, picking out books they wanted to read. Ali found a section with books for young readers and chose several titles. He also picked up a book of English fairy tales. 
His friends found books they liked too. The trip to the city was a great experience, and they returned home with new books and even more excitement about learning English. Chapter 13, Speaking with Visitors. One sunny day, a group of tourists visited Ali's village. They were from different countries and spoke English. Ali and his friends saw this as a perfect opportunity to practice speaking English with native speakers. With a mix of excitement and nervousness, Ali approached a friendly-looking tourist and said, Hello, welcome to our village. Can I help you with anything? The tourist smiled and replied, Thank you. We're looking for the village market. Can you show us the way? Ali confidently gave directions in English. The tourist thanked him and asked, Do you speak English often? Ali explained how he and his friends were learning English through their club and practice. The tourist was impressed and encouraged Ali to keep practicing. Ali felt proud of his ability to communicate and was motivated to continue improving his English. Chapter 14 Writing a Story Ali's love for writing grew as he practiced more in his journal. One day, he decided to write a full story in English. He thought about the adventures he had with his friends and used them as inspiration for his story. He spent several evenings working on his story, writing about a group of friends who go on a treasure hunt. He described their journey, the challenges they faced, and the excitement of finding the treasure. Ali used the new words and sentences he had learned, and his grandfather helped him with corrections. Once the story was complete, Ali felt a great sense of accomplishment. He shared it with his teacher, who praised his effort and creativity. Chapter 15, Sharing the Story. Ali's teacher was so impressed by his story that she suggested he read it to the class. Ali was both excited and nervous. He had never read a full story in English to an audience before. With his teacher's encouragement, he decided to go for it. The day arrived and Ali stood in front of his classmates holding his story. He took a deep breath and began to read. At first, he stumbled over a few words, but as he continued, he gained confidence. His classmates listened attentively, enjoying the tale of the treasure hunt. When Ali finished, the classroom erupted in applause. His friends congratulated him, and his teacher praised his hard work. Ali felt proud and happy. Reading his story aloud had been a big step in his journey to becoming fluent in English. Chapter 16, A Visit from the Author A few weeks later, Ali's school organized a special event. An English author was visiting to talk about his books and writing process. The students were excited to meet a real author and hear about his experiences. The author gave a fascinating talk about how he created his stories, where he found inspiration, and the importance of perseverance in writing. Ali and his friends listened eagerly, absorbing every word. After the talk, there was a question and answer session. Ali raised his hand and asked, How did you become a good writer in English? The author smiled and said, it takes a lot of practice, just like learning to speak a new language. Read as much as you can, write every day, and never be afraid to make mistakes. That's how you grow and improve. The author's words resonated with Ali. He felt encouraged and motivated to continue his practice, knowing that even great writers had started from humble beginnings. Chapter 17 Preparing for the Competition As Ali and his friends grew more confident in their English skills, their teacher announced a school-wide English competition. 
The competition would include categories for speaking, reading, writing, and comprehension. Allie was excited to participate and decided to enter all the categories. Allie spent the next few weeks preparing diligently. He practiced speaking with his friends, read more English books, wrote new stories, and listened to English audio stories. His friends also prepared, and they often studied together, helping each other improve. The day of the competition arrived, and Ali felt a mix of excitement and nerves. He reminded himself of his grandfather's advice and took a deep breath. He was ready to give his best effort. Chapter 18, The English Competition. The competition was held in the school auditorium. Students from different classes participated, showcasing their English skills. Ali's turn came for the speaking category. He confidently delivered a short speech about his favorite book, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. The judges were impressed by his fluency and confidence. Next, Ali read a passage from an English book. He focused on pronunciation and clarity, making sure to express the emotions in the text. His reading was well received and he felt proud of his performance. In the writing category, Ali submitted a new story he had written about a magical forest. The judges praised his creativity and language use. Finally, in the comprehension category, Ali answered questions about a story he had read. His understanding and analysis of the story earned him high marks. At the end of the competition, the winners were announced. Ali was thrilled to hear his name called as the winner in several categories. His hard work and dedication had paid off, and he was proud of his achievements. Chapter 19 Helping Others Ali's success in the competition inspired many students in his school. They looked up to him and wanted to improve their English skills, too. Ali decided to start a tutoring group to help his classmates. Every afternoon, he and his friends met in the school library to study and practice together. Ali taught them the techniques he had learned from his grandfather, practicing with a partner, listening to English stories, reading books, writing in a journal, and most importantly, being confident. He helped them with pronunciation, grammar, and vocabulary. The tutoring group became very popular, and soon, more students joined. Ali felt happy to see his friends making progress. Helping others learn made him feel proud and reinforced his own knowledge. Chapter 20 The Pen Pal Project One day, Ali's teacher introduced a new project, a pen pal exchange with students from an English-speaking country. Each student would be paired with a pen pal to exchange letters and learn about each other's culture and language. Ali was excited to have a pen pal. He was paired with a boy named John from England, they started writing letters to each other, sharing stories about their lives, families, and hobbies. Allie looked forward to receiving John's letters and practiced writing thoughtful replies in English. Through this exchange, Allie learned a lot about life in England. He also enjoyed teaching John about his own culture and village. The Pen Pal Project helped Ali improve his writing skills and made him a new friend from across the world. Chapter 21 The English Play Ali's teacher announced that the school would be putting on an English play for the annual school festival. She encouraged Ali and his friends to audition for roles. The play was based on a classic English story, and the students were excited to perform. Ali auditioned and was given the lead role. He was thrilled, but also a bit nervous about memorizing all his lines in English. He practiced every day, 
reciting his lines in front of the mirror and with his friends. They supported each other and rehearsed together, making sure everyone was confident in their roles. The day of the performance arrived, and the auditorium was filled with students, teachers, and parents. Ali and his friends gave their best performance, and the audience loved it. The play was a great success, and Ali felt proud to have been part of it. Chapter 22, The Scholarship Opportunity As Ali continued to excel in his English studies, his teacher informed him about a scholarship opportunity to attend a special summer program in an English-speaking country. The program was designed for students who wanted to improve their English skills and learn more about different cultures. Ali was excited about the possibility of traveling and learning more. He applied for the scholarship, writing an essay about his journey in learning English and his future goals. He was thrilled when he received the news that he had been selected. The summer program was held in a beautiful city with students from all over the world. Ali attended English classes, participated in cultural activities, and made new friends. The experience broadened his horizons and greatly improved his fluency. Chapter 23 Teaching Younger Students after returning from the summer program, Ali felt more confident in his English skills than ever. He wanted to give back to his community by helping younger students learn English. He approached his teacher with the idea of starting an English club for younger grades. The teacher supported his idea, and soon Ali was leading a club for younger students. He used fun games, songs, and stories to make learning English enjoyable for them. The younger students looked up to Ali and were eager to learn from him. Ali felt a great sense of satisfaction seeing the younger students' progress. He knew he was making a difference in their lives, just as his grandfather and teachers had made in his. Chapter 24 the Grandfather's Gift One day, Ali's grandfather called him over. Ali, he said, I am so proud of you. You have worked hard and achieved so much. I have a special gift for you. He handed Ali a beautifully wrapped package. Inside, Ali found a set of classic English books, including... The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, and Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. These were books Allie had always wanted to read. These books will take you on new adventures, his grandfather said. Keep reading, keep learning, and always remember to share your knowledge with others. Ali hugged his grandfather, feeling grateful for his support and guidance. He couldn't wait to dive into the new books and continue his journey in mastering English. Chapter 25 The Future Ahead As Ali grew older, he continued to improve his English skills. He became a role model in his village, helping many students learn English and achieve their dreams. His love for reading, writing, and speaking English only grew stronger with time. Ali often thought about his journey and the advice his grandfather had given him. He knew that learning a new language was a lifelong journey, and he was excited to see where it would take him. With his skills and confidence, Ali planned to study abroad and pursue a career where he could use his English fluently. He dreamed of becoming an English teacher or a writer, inspiring others just as he had been inspired, and so, Ali's journey continued, filled with new adventures, challenges, and successes. His story was a testament to the power of hard work, perseverance, and the joy of learning. Chapter 26, A New Challenge Ali's English journey continued to bring him new opportunities and challenges. 
One day, his teacher announced a new challenge for the advanced students in the English club. It was an essay competition with the theme, My Dream for the Future. Ali was excited, but also a bit nervous. Writing an essay was different from writing stories, but he wanted to give it a try. He thought long and hard about his dream for the future. Finally, he decided to write about becoming an English teacher and helping other children in his village learn English. Ali spent several evenings working on his essay. He wrote about his experiences, his goals, and his passion for teaching. He asked his grandfather and teacher for feedback, making sure his essay was the best it could be. When he finally submitted it, he felt proud of his hard work. Chapter 27 The Results Weeks passed, and the day came when the results of the essay competition were to be announced. Ali and his friends gathered in the school auditorium, eager to hear the results. The principal took the stage and began announcing the winners. Ali's heart pounded as he listened to the names being called. When the principal reached the first place winner, Ali was thrilled to hear his name. He couldn't believe it. He had won the competition. His friends and teachers congratulated him. Ali's essay was praised for its clarity, passion, and vision. Winning the competition boosted his confidence even more and made him realize that his dream of becoming an English teacher was achievable. Chapter 28, Learning New Techniques. With his newfound confidence, Ali wanted to learn new techniques to improve his English even more. He asked his teacher for advice, and she suggested he try watching English movies and TV shows. This would help him with listening skills and understanding different accents and expressions. Ali found a few simple English movies and started watching them with subtitles. At first, it was challenging to keep up with the fast speech, but he quickly got the hang of it. He paused and rewound parts he didn't understand, writing down new words and phrases to look up later. Watching English movies became a fun and educational activity for Ali. He enjoyed the stories and learned a lot of new words and expressions. It also helped him understand different cultures and ways of speaking. Chapter 29, Joining Online Communities. One day, while exploring the internet, Ali discovered online communities where people from all over the world practiced English together. There were forums, chat rooms, and even video calls where people could talk and help each other learn. Ali joined one of these communities and introduced himself. He was amazed at how friendly and supportive everyone was. He participated in discussions, asked questions, and even helped others with their English. It was a great way to practice and make new friends. Through these online communities, Ali learned about different cultures and ways of speaking English. He also gained confidence in using English in real-life conversations. It was another step forward in his journey to fluency. Chapter 30, The Language Exchange. Ali's teacher introduced him to a new concept called a language exchange. This was where two people who spoke different languages helped each other learn. For example, Ali could help someone learn his native language while they helped him learn English. Ali found a language exchange partner online named Lucy. She was from England and wanted to learn Ali's native language. They agreed to meet online twice a week and help each other. Ali and Lucy became good friends, and their language exchange sessions were fun and educational. Ali learned a lot from Lucy. She corrected his mistakes, taught him new expressions, and helped him improve his pronunciation. In return, Ali helped Lucy with her language learning. 
it was a rewarding experience for both of them. Chapter 31, The School Newspaper. Allie's school started a new project, an English school newspaper. Students were invited to write articles, stories, and poems in English. Allie was excited to contribute and decided to write a series of short stories about his village and its people. He spent many afternoons working on his stories, making sure they were interesting and well-written. His friends also contributed articles and poems. The teacher helped them edit their work. And soon, the first issue of the school newspaper was ready. When the newspaper was published, Ali was proud to see his stories in print. His classmates and teachers praised his work, and he felt happy to share his love for English with others. The school newspaper became a popular project, and Ali continued to write for it regularly. Chapter 32 The Exchange Program Ali's teacher announced another exciting opportunity an exchange program with a school in England. Selected students would get to visit England for two weeks, attend classes, and live with host families. Ali immediately wanted to apply. He worked hard on his application, writing about his passion for English and his experiences in learning the language. He also prepared for an interview with the program organizers. Ali's dedication paid off, and he was selected to be part of the exchange program. Ali was thrilled. The trip to England was a dream come true. He looked forward to experiencing a new culture, improving his English, and making new friends. Chapter 33. The Journey to England. The day of the trip finally arrived. Ali and his fellow students boarded a plane for England. It was Ali's first time flying, and he was both excited and nervous. He watched movies on the plane and practiced his English with his friends. When they arrived in England, Ali was amazed by the new sights and sounds. His host family greeted him warmly and made him feel at home. Over the next two weeks, Ali attended classes, participated in activities, and explored the city with his host family. The experience was incredible. Ali improved his English significantly, learned about British culture, and made lifelong friends. He returned home with wonderful memories and a newfound confidence in his English abilities. Chapter 34, Teaching English. Back in his village, Ali was eager to share what he had learned in England. He decided to start an English tutoring group for younger students. With his teacher's help, he organized classes after school and invited students to join. Ali used fun activities, games, and stories to teach English. He remembered how he had learned and applied the same techniques. The students enjoyed the classes and quickly made progress. Ali felt proud to see them improve and become more confident in speaking English. Teaching English also helped Ali reinforce his own knowledge. He learned new ways to explain concepts and found joy in helping others succeed. It was a fulfilling experience that strengthened his passion for teaching. Chapter 35 The Book Club Ali's love for reading continued to grow, and he wanted to share it with others. He started an English book club at his school, where students could read and discuss books together. The club met once a week, and each month they chose a new book to read. The book club became a popular activity. Ali and his friends enjoyed discussing the stories, characters, and themes. They also learned new vocabulary and improved their reading comprehension. The discussions helped them think critically and express their ideas in English. Through the book club, Ali discovered many new authors and genres. 
He enjoyed exploring different kinds of stories and sharing his thoughts with others. The club became a close-knit community of readers who supported and encouraged each other. Chapter 36, Public Speaking. Ali's teacher introduced a new activity to the English club, public speaking. She explained that being able to speak confidently in front of an audience was an important skill. Ali was excited, but also a bit nervous about speaking in public. The teacher helped them prepare short speeches on various topics. Ali chose to speak about his journey in learning English. He practiced his speech many times, making sure he was clear and confident. The day of the public speaking event arrived, and Ali took the stage. He felt nervous at first, but as he spoke, he remembered his grandfather's advice to be confident. He delivered his speech with passion and clarity, and the audience applauded. Public speaking helped Ali build his confidence and improve his English skills. He enjoyed sharing his story and inspiring others. The experience made him realize the importance of communication and expressing oneself. Chapter 37, Exploring New Topics. As Ali continued to learn English, he became curious about different topics. He wanted to expand his knowledge and vocabulary. His teacher suggested he explore subjects like science, history, and art through English books and articles. Ali started reading about various topics in English. He found it fascinating to learn new things while also improving his language skills. He read about famous scientists, historical events, and different art forms. Each new topic introduced him to new words and ideas. Exploring new subjects helped Ali become more knowledgeable and well-rounded. It also made learning English more exciting and enjoyable. He realized that English could open doors to endless knowledge and opportunities. Chapter 38. Participating in Debates. Ali's teacher introduced another activity to the English club, debates. She explained that debating was a great way to practice speaking, listening, and thinking critically. Ali was eager to participate and learn this new skill. The teacher divided the students into teams and gave them topics to debate. Ali's team had to argue in favor of the importance of learning a second language. They researched the topic, prepared their arguments, and practiced presenting them. During the debate, Ali felt nervous, but excited. He presented his arguments confidently and listened carefully to the opposing team. The experience helped him improve his speaking and listening skills. It also taught him the importance of understanding different perspectives. Debating became a fun and challenging activity for Ali and his friends. They enjoyed the lively discussions and learned a lot from each other. It helped them become better communicators and thinkers. Chapter 39, The Community Project. Ali's teacher announced a new project for the English club, a community project. The goal was to use their English skills to help the community. Ali and his friends brainstormed ideas and decided to organize an English literacy program. Chapter 40. Planning the community project, Ali and his friends were excited about the community project. They wanted to help as many people as possible improve their English skills. They decided to organize an English literacy program for adults in the village who had never had the chance to learn English. They held a meeting to plan the project. Ali suggested starting with basic English lessons, focusing on everyday conversation, vocabulary, and simple grammar. His friends agreed and they began organizing the lessons. They created a schedule, gathered materials, and spread the word about the program. 
The village elders supported the project and offered the community center as a venue for the classes. Allie and his friends were grateful for the support and worked hard to prepare engaging and effective lessons. Chapter 41 The First Class The day of the first class arrived, and Ali felt a mix of excitement and nervousness. He and his friends welcomed the adult learners and introduced themselves. The learners were eager, but also a bit anxious about starting something new. Ali began the class with simple greetings and introductions in English. He encouraged the learners to practice speaking with each other. At first, it was challenging, but Ali and his friends patiently guided them, using visual aids and gestures to help them understand. The learners slowly gained confidence and started enjoying the class. Ali was thrilled to see their progress and enthusiasm. He realized that teaching was a rewarding experience and that he was making a positive impact on their lives. Chapter 42 Building Confidence As the literacy program continued, Ali noticed that some learners were still hesitant to speak English. He decided to focus on building their confidence. He encouraged them to practice speaking in pairs and small groups, ensuring everyone had a chance to participate. Ali also introduced fun activities like role-playing and storytelling. The learners enjoyed pretending to be in different scenarios and practicing English conversations. These activities helped them become more comfortable and confident in speaking English. Ali's encouragement and positive feedback motivated the learners to keep trying. They began to believe in their abilities and looked forward to the classes. Ali felt proud to see their progress and knew he was making a difference. Chapter 43, Expanding Vocabulary. Ali realized that expanding the learner's vocabulary was crucial for their English improvement. He introduced new words every week and used various methods to help them remember. They played word games, used flashcards, and created vocabulary lists. Allie encouraged the learners to use new words in sentences and conversations. He also suggested they keep a vocabulary journal where they could write down new words and their meanings. The learners found this helpful and enjoyed tracking their progress. To make learning more interesting, Ali introduced themes for each week, such as food, travel, and daily routines. This way, the learners could relate new vocabulary to real-life situations. The thematic approach made learning more relevant and enjoyable for them. Chapter 44, Practicing Listening Skills. Ali knew that listening was an essential part of learning English. He introduced activities to improve the learners' listening skills they listened to simple English songs, watched short videos, and followed along with audio stories. Allie chose materials that matched the learner's level, ensuring they could understand and enjoy them. He also provided transcripts and explained any difficult words or phrases. The learners practiced listening and repeating sentences to improve their pronunciation and comprehension. These listening activities helped the learners get used to different accents and speech patterns. They found it fun and educational, and their listening skills improved significantly over time. Allie was happy to see their progress and confidence grow. Chapter 45, Writing Practice. Allie introduced writing practice to the literacy program, he encouraged the learners to start with simple sentences and gradually move to paragraphs. They practiced writing about their daily activities, family, and interests. Ali provided feedback on their writing, helping them correct mistakes and improve their grammar. 
He also introduced fun writing activities like creating stories, writing letters, and keeping a diary. The learners enjoyed these activities and became more confident in their writing skills. Ali emphasized the importance of writing regularly. He encouraged the learners to write a few sentences each day and share them in class. This practice helped them improve their writing skills and express themselves better in English. Chapter 46. Reading Together Reading was another important aspect of the literacy program. Ali introduced simple English books and stories that matched the learner's level. They read together in class, taking turns to read aloud and discuss the stories. Ali encouraged the learners to ask questions and share their thoughts about the stories. This helped improve their reading comprehension and critical thinking skills. The learners enjoyed reading different genres, from fairy tales to short stories and informational texts. Ali also suggested they visit the village library and borrow English books to read at home. He emphasized the importance of reading regularly to improve their vocabulary and understanding of the language. The learners followed his advice and enjoyed discovering new books. Chapter 47 Celebrating Milestones As the literacy program progressed, Ali and his friends celebrated the learners' milestones. They organized small events to recognize their achievements, such as completing a set of lessons or mastering a new skill. These celebrations motivated the learners and made them feel proud of their progress. They received certificates and small prizes, which boosted their confidence and encouraged them to keep learning. Ali realized the importance of recognizing and celebrating their efforts. The celebrations also brought the community together. Family members and friends attended, showing their support and pride. It created a positive and encouraging environment for everyone involved in the literacy program. Chapter 48, Engaging Activities. Ali wanted to keep the learners engaged and excited about learning English. He introduced various activities to make the classes fun and interactive. They played games like bingo, charades, and word puzzles, which helped reinforce their learning. Ali also organized group projects, such as creating posters, performing skits, and preparing presentations. These activities allowed the learners to use English creatively and collaboratively. They enjoyed working together and learned a lot from each other. The engaging activities made the classes lively and enjoyable. The learners looked forward to each session and participated actively. Ali was pleased to see their enthusiasm and progress. Chapter 49, Guest Speakers To expose the learners to different accents and perspectives, Ali invited guest speakers to the classes. These were people from different backgrounds who spoke English fluently. They shared their experiences, stories, and tips for learning English. The guest speakers included travelers, teachers, and professionals who used English in their work. The learners enjoyed listening to their stories and asking questions. It was a great way to practice listening and speaking with different people. The guest speakers inspired the learners and showed them the practical uses of English. They realized that learning English could open many doors and opportunities. Ali was grateful for the guest speaker's contributions and the positive impact they had on the learners. Chapter 50 Using Technology Ali introduced technology to the literacy program to enhance the learning experience. He showed the learners how to use language learning apps, websites, and online resources to practice English, they explored interactive exercises, quizzes, and games that made learning fun. 
Allie also encouraged the learners to use social media and online forums to practice English with people from around the world. They joined English language groups and participated in discussions. This helped them gain confidence and experience real-life communication. Using technology made learning more accessible and enjoyable for the learners. They could practice English anytime, anywhere, and at their own pace. Ali was happy to see them embrace technology and make the most of these resources. Chapter 51, Encouraging Self-Study. Ali emphasized the importance of self-study in learning English. He encouraged the learners to take responsibility for their learning and practice regularly outside of class. He provided them with study tips and resources to help them succeed. Ali suggested setting small, achievable goals and creating a study schedule. He also encouraged the learners to use English in their daily lives, such as talking to friends, writing notes, and reading signs. These small steps made a big difference in their progress. The learners appreciated Ali's guidance and took his advice seriously. They became more proactive and motivated in their learning journey. Ali was proud to see their dedication and improvement. Chapter 52, Building a Supportive Community. Ali realized that building a supportive community was crucial for the success of the literacy program. He encouraged the learners to support and help each other. They formed study groups, shared resources, and practiced together. The sense of community made learning more enjoyable and less intimidating. The learners felt comfortable asking questions, making mistakes, and learning from each other. They celebrated each other's successes and encouraged each other during challenging times. Ali was grateful for the supportive and positive environment they had created. It made a significant difference in the learners' progress and confidence. He knew that together, they could achieve great things. Chapter 53, Overcoming Challenges. Throughout the literacy program, the learners faced various challenges. Some found it difficult to balance learning with their work and family responsibilities. Others struggled with certain aspects of English, such as pronunciation or grammar. Ali and his friends provided support and encouragement to help them overcome these challenges. They offered extra help, personalized feedback, and flexible class schedules. They also reminded the learners that it was okay to make mistakes and that perseverance was key. The learners appreciated the support and didn't give up. They continued to work hard and improve their English skills. Ali admired their resilience and determination. He knew that overcoming challenges made their achievements even more meaningful. Chapter 54, Encouraging Cultural Exchange. Ali understood that learning a language also meant understanding the culture. He introduced cultural exchange activities to the literacy program. They learned about English-speaking countries, their traditions, holidays, and daily life. Ali invited the learners to share their own culture and traditions as well. They celebrated different festivals, cooked traditional dishes, and shared stories from their cultures. These activities made the classes more interesting and enriched their learning experience. The cultural exchange helped the learners appreciate diversity and understand the importance of cultural context in language learning. It also fostered mutual respect and curiosity. Ali was happy to see the learners enjoying and learning from each other's cultures. The end. <laughs>